Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick video uh, to show you guys how I remove my lifting and refill with my builder gel. Uh, a lot of people use builder gel as a base as opposed to like the clear dip. Um, I like it a lot better. For me, I feel like it's a little faster to do the builder gel instead of dip since it's like one process instead of having to put the gel on because I use gel method. Dip, cure gel dip cure I just use the builder gel and it's a lot easier it's just like painting your nails you just paint it on and cure it time to get into what I'm doing here um, first of all I want to say I am NOT a professional so I learned how to use the e-file what I do know just by trial and error and believe me I've had plenty of error and boo-boos but I finally got the hang of it pretty much, but here I'm just uh, smoothing out the nail and removing any lifting. I have my drill set to 8 RPMs I believe. Um, for removal I use it between 8 and 12 RPMs, uh, but for like the cuticle area and the natural nail you want to only use it on uh, 3 to 5 RPMs. I use this bit here to clean my cuticle area and I'll link that in the description box below but it works very well and it's very gentle on the cuticle. Um, I usually put it on 3 to 5 RPMs. So for cleaning the cuticle, you want to put it in forward first, and then after you've went over all your nails, put it in reverse and go the opposite way to make sure you remove as much cuticle as possible to prevent lifting. I'll be using Mia Secrets Nail Prep and Bond before applying my Builder Gel. I'll be using Triple D's Clear Builder Gel in a bottle. I'll usually start with a line down the middle to try to build a little bit of an apex and then work my way down and onto the sides. After applying, I'll hold my finger upside down for around 10 to 15 seconds to give it time to self-level. You 
want to make sure to remove any gel off of your skin or from around your cuticle before curing for 30 to 60 seconds. Here I'm going to show you how I fix this little notch here in the side of my nail, which is probably from over filing. But um, I just use poly gel to do that since poly gel is stiffer and holds up better. It's just a little easier to work with around the side walls since it doesn't run as fast. I'll be using a clear poly gel from Beatles and their foundation, which is just a base gel. First, I just apply the base as usual, cure 30 to 60 seconds, then go in with the poly gel. And I'm just using a very small amount since I'm going to be repairing a very small notch out of my nail. So I just blop it on there and I'll just use alcohol on my brush to tap it and just shape it around until it looks right. And then I'll cure for 60 seconds. And here they are, ready to go for a new dip set. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.